Oh, this is going to be a good one. Always good when these two bang heads. Yep. Kind of a double cyclone connection. Reader, uh, right. an alum, national champion for Iowa State. Now, win D didn't go to school there, but he trains there right now. He's trained there the last year or so, I guess. Yeah, Reader, uh, Reader's up. What, South Dakota State, mm -hmm. Jack Rabbits now. Yeah, get jacked. Right there. Get jacked, hashtag. And um, Duran Wynn, as you mentioned at Iowa State. Uh, Wynn was fourth at the Open this year. Lost to Ruth and to, I forget who he lost to topside. Someone pretty good. Yeah, undoubtedly. Yeah, because Wynn's pretty good. Um, oh, Gavin, I think. Oh, he was he was second at the Bill Farrell to Richard Perry, who we just saw. Oh, and that yeah. was Wynn's first. That was a crazy match, wasn't it? Yeah, that was his first time down at 86. Remember, he's been wrestling 97 and made the drop down this year. These two had a crazy match at that tournament, didn't they? Reader and Wynn? Yeah, the, at the Bill Farrell. Reader was yeah. third, I believe, at the Bill Farrell. Right. And Wynn won that match, as I recall. He had mm -hmm. some big, like, doubles for four, maybe? Or th I'm right, well, that, I mean... Wynn's got some, some great stuff. He's quick to the finishes. Um, nice And when ducks. he gets in, he can he can power over you. Um, very outside oriented, though. Yeah, but outside he's shot attempts. underrated in the ties. I think Absolutely. He, you know, his he's elbow control stuff, I, th I think he's, uh, I think he can he can score. That's what makes him dangerous. He, he's not just a work from space guy. He can hit some ducks. He's got some good high level stuff there. Is there collar and elbow control? Reader got that great single leg. Yeah, he's also great from a front head position. Um, yes, he is. You know, or chest wrap, whatever you want to call it down there. But once he gets to that position, he can turn you like nobody's business. He likes being there. Right. Uh, he scores a lot of points from there. So that's why if you're a win, you got to be careful uh, on your finishes. It's you know tough to finish a single leg on Reader, but you know blast double is probably what you're you're going to want to go to. Yeah. Which run, is run right one of it. his strengths. Quick yeah. finishes. Quick finishes on Reader for sure. And Reader was third at the Open this year, so Reader was third and Wynn was fourth. So that's that's an interesting dynamic here because Wynn gets the three seed and Reader the six seed. But Reader beat Wynn at the for third at the Open. Yeah. Wait, no. Uh, Ruth, oh, Ruth that, was third at that's, the Open. That's my mistake. Third at the 13 U.S. Open. I, yeah. I got it down here, but uh, wrong year. It's all good. Have another sip of Badger Max. You'll feel better. Badger Max. Ah, goes down smooth every time. Every time. <laughs> so not a lot going on. Duran went on the shot clock. Right. And ear to ear, not going to see a lot from this position. Don't, don't probably expect like much, to, much to change here on the shot clock from, from either guy, Yeah. honestly, if someone gets put on it. Caution against Win. One point on the board for John Reeder. He takes the early lead. And just to correct myself, Win was fourth at the open. Reeder was fifth. So All that's right. why. That's why you see that. Wow, the collar tie here. Not much. Not much action. I think this is playing to Reader's strengths yeah. because he's keeping Wynn tied up. Don't want to be in a shootout with Duran. Absolutely. And Duran probably thinking, uh, if I pick it up in the next period, I can get him on the shot Absolutely. Clock. Absolutely. That came into play a couple times yesterday in the junior trials, but... But here, you know, you see when these 1-1 one, one matches happen, if they're both on the shot clock, you know, a lot of times the guy who's more active in the first uh, gets put on the shot clock right. first. Yeah, and that way they have that option. That way in the second, they, uh, they're they able to, to get the first passive, or the second passivity point and uh, take it 1-1 one, one by criteria. Now, I don't know if we're gonna see that, but Based on that first period, no yeah. one really took a shot. No one was close to scoring. So we'll see what adjustments are made. As we see Duran come out right away, probably sensing I can get a score here, or I can make a good impression. Tell him Duran to watch those clubs. But 
that's, you know, Duran's physical. Oh, there's that beautiful high crotch. Sometimes he goes fireman's quick. Yeah, and, he, and that's he, what I'm saying. He, he's underrated in the ties there. He's great at releasing there, uh, throwing that elbow by to a high crotch. Sometimes he'll keep that elbow and look for exposure from there. He forward Ed Ruth from that position at the open before Ed came back. So now 2-1, Duran win uh, takes the lead here. One, one attack, one score for Duran win. Well, and that was big also because when he got in on the shot, he elevated himself. He kept his chest high and his right. head high, preventing Reeder from getting nice single leg and diving over is win. Interesting position there. Ooh. And now Win ends up on the single leg, and he's in position to score. But you mentioned Reeder's comfortable here in this yeah. chest trap position. He's going to try to get his legs to and one Wynn side. And Win is not even working up here. He no. knows. He's not, he's, he wants a stalemate here. That is the sign of respect. Absolutely. They, yes, you end up a guy sitting completely on his butt. No uh, sweat on Reader's brow there from that position. And Wynn doesn't even try to finish. He's like, I'm winning. I'm not going to go where he's good. And so Collar underhook looking to throw it by. So Reader got to the leg there. Um, great defense there. Now good wizard, but no limp arm from, from Wynn. Now he's going to take the lead. Now is he going to go bow and arrow here? Transitions to a gut wrench. So John Reeder in the lead, 3-2. Action picking up here. Close to getting a turn. He's going to pop it over. But now Wynn comes on top. So that'll make it 5-3 to three in favor of John Reeder. Wow. So now we're starting to see these guys opens up when it gets to be crunch time. Right. And uh, now the onus on Duran Wynn. We know he's got some great offense. Can he convert in the clutch? Right. So Perry knocks off Foster, 3-2. So a minute 10 to go. Hard clubs from Wynn, trying to open them up. They're looking for it again. That kind of high crotch overtie there for Wynn now. 50 seconds to go. Underhook right side for Reader for a moment there, cleared. Trying to use some motion there. Yeah, he, he's Wynn. doing a good job blocking off, talking about Reader. Oh yeah. Wynn looks visibly frustrated. Yeah, he's frustrated. He's having a hard time opening them up. There's a shot, a little, not, not a great setup there. Now he's underneath there in a front headlock. He's got 15 seconds to go. We're gonna need to find a way. He looks to release, can't get underneath him. 10 seconds to go. And now going front head pitch, looking for it is Wynn, trying to go desperation, can't get it. Another takedown for Duran Wynn. It's gonna be 7-3, the final. John Reeder, your winner here. He's gonna take on the winner of Phil Ketty, Ed Ruth, and uh, Ed Ruth strikes first there on that far match. So if I remember correctly,